All right, so we're privileged to be able to come out here to this little pond, and we're going to watch these guys do their thing with the, the rainbow trout, and uh, we're just going to enjoy it. We appreciate our host again. Oh, there she goes. Let's see what we got here. That quick. <laughs> uh, this is a hand dug pond, by the way. It took eight years to dig it. Oh, you got one, Dalton? What are you using? A spinner? A maps? Never the best. I love maps. And how are you doing over here, young lady? This is the daughter of our host. Oh, you got him that time. Yeah, Okay, here we go again. Dalton's trying to, you know, show that he's the master angler here. Maybe you better get a little bit. Maybe you better instead of losing the lords in their mouth. You want to get my Oh, they do. They come. They come up to eat, eh? That brings them up. I see one down there now. Look at them swarm. Yeah, he did that uh, little pounding on the water. And uh, so here we go. Oh, piranhas. Wow. Let's see if we can get a little close up of some of these bad boys. <laughs> so how many you got in here now? 200. 200? Yep. 200 starving mouths. <laughs> Gosh. Let's see if I can go all the way around it. Look at that, guys. Let's go over here and we'll get a little different view of this. Yes? So it took you eight years to dig this pond by hand. You got it down to how deep? 12 feet. And then he had to later, then they brought in an excavator and finished it up to 25 feet, right? Man, what a job, huh? <laughs> Probably like that guy there is a foot. I thought this was empty before you guys pulled it. Got a better chance to get at it. Well, the big boy hasn't come up yet. Look at that, look at that. That ain't like piranha feeding. <laughs> so you go, most of them are about how big? 11 inches? Yeah, about 9 to 11 inches. And you have some in here how big now? Over 30 inches. Over 30. Of course, you can't really tell with the, with the, With so many eating at the same time, you can't really tell if the big boy's down there. Oh, you can tell. Oh, oh, you only got one? No, there's about four of them. Oh, four of them. But you can tell when they come up. Can you? Is it like Jaws? Yeah. <laughs> water, about two feet. Oh, really? Yeah. Do they come up every night? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, that sure is. <laughs> this is quite interesting. It's a beautiful place and they got it very well kept. Um, it's all part of the, it's all part of the ranch yet, isn't it? Yes, it is. Look at Catching them on a spoon. A big spoon. They're hungry. Hmm. You're pretty good with that. Well, I'll get you out there. They take, take took out the fish as well. <laughs> Catch them in the lake. Fish I've taken off the hooks. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to take my barbs and get them barbless hooks. Yeah. I think I'm going to just get, get take the hooks and cut the barbs off them because we're we releasing just, everything anyway. We just file them down. It makes it more challenging because if you give them a little slack. Yeah, they'll spit it right out. They'll spit yep. it right out. Look at all these little guys. <laughs> Where'd you get the bass at? What's that guy right here doing? I didn't think you threw anything down there. How long does it How long does it take for the big boy to get up here? I know it kind of comes closer to the end after the little ones have eaten. It's they're dumping out there in the middle there, huh? <laughs> oh, you got a tick? Yeah, yeah. I got it. Really? See them crawling on me. Ew. Oh, here we go. Okay, what have we got? Oh, he's bad. Oh, that's a nice one. Hmm. Now, explain what you just did and why. You don't want to touch a rainbow because the oil from your hand will kill them. At this time of year, am I correct? I believe so. We've never touched them because we've done it before and we found dead fish out here. Dead fish? And you can actually see your handprint on the fish. Oh. Well, it's, you know, something, learn something new every day. Is, is You say it could be because there are scales or not? Yeah, I don't think they have scales because you eat them, you know? Yeah, actually, they're really super fine when you do, you know, if you do scale them, they're so fine, but yeah. I don't know, I never really got into the rainbow much, you know, brown trout, brook trout, and, you know, them, but... Uh, It sounds good to the fishermen. <laughs> We're waiting for that big bad boy to come up. They can, it's amazing how they can hear that water bubble like that from the other side of a lake, you know. Are you seeing ticks on me? Oh, you're going to, that's tick heaven. Is it? Oh, my God. Well, I got my tick go to meeting pants on. They're saturated with that, what do you call it? Deet. Well, not deet. It's the other one that starts with a P. You put them on there for two weeks. They can last two weeks. Oh, I have no idea. Yeah, it's. I know when we go out mushroom hunting there, we usually get about 20 of them on us. Hmm. Is that the big one? Mm. Damn it, I should have brought more.